A very good morning to our viewers all across the world. Welcome to Your Poetic Interlude on the Weekend Show. My name is Emeka Zorumba, and today with me in Cumbria, England, in the UK, I have with me Mr. Alan Hubert. Mr. Alan, good morning. Uh, now, I would like to talk about some things with you about your book. I'm Alan Hubert. Who are you? Uh, I would like to talk about things like Brexit um, and Russia's involvement in um, the M16 investigation and the Lisbon Treaty. Uh, sir, uh, Mr. Allen, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay, sir, so can you talk about the Lisbon Treaty? Because in 1992, in Lisbon, uh, Russia, Ukraine, US, uh, Kazakhstan, and some countries, they signed a treaty that the remaining of the weapons were going to be disarmamented. And in 1996, Ukraine had to give Russia those, they had to give Russia those weapons to be disarmamented. But now Ukraine is in a dire situation because Russia themselves have turned on Ukraine. So what can you say about the, uh, the Lisbon Treaty in 92? Well, uh, the Lisbon Treaty in 92 uh, was between, as you say, Kazakhstan, uh, America, Russia, and uh, the other one was Belarus and Ukraine. And at the end of the at the end of the Soviet Union, uh, the, the the third largest possessor of nuclear weapons in the world was was Ukraine. And uh, in a, in exchange for protection from Russia and America in case of attack from outside sources, Ukraine agreed to send all their weapons back to Russia in order that they would be destroyed, taken out of the system. Uh, Ukraine, Belarus, Kazakhstan have, have kept that agreement. They've not attempted to have any nuclear weaponry since then. And of course, we all know that in 2014, uh, Russia decided to involve itself in, in Ukraine by infiltrating in a Crimea. way really yeah 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 they did they didn't actually all have to attack crime here but what they, what they used was this uh organization called the wagner group the wagner group i know the wagner, wagner group, group yes yeah the wagner group is a a group of mercenaries which is funded by the the sort the the russian government you know i think they're the ones funding <laughs> even the sudan war they're funding some of the rebels in sudan right now they've been involved all over africa there's a, something like about 12 countries mozambique was partic one particular one where they were actually kicked out forcibly by uh, the mozambique uh, authorities but now they are uh, involved in in the sudan basically they're, they're involved in sudan because uh, of the gold mine they, they actually have control of the gold mine and they're extracting gold from, from it uh, for their own purposes. But okay, so, um, so do you know what? Today, we only have an hour on the program because of the coronation of your king. <laughs> oh, yeah, King okay. Charles. Yeah. So <laughs> I want us to talk about Brexit because he's going to have to talk about those things. So wh yeah. when he comes in power, he's going to talk about Brexit. So what are you going to say about Brexit, the way forward, and what do you think about Brexit? Well, Brexit for... Britain and for Europe really has been a disaster. Uh, it's, it's, it's disrupted trade, it's disrupted all sorts of things, but most of all it's disrupted uh, communications between us in terms of culture, etc. You know, uh, and one of the major problems there, of course, is that Russia involved itself in, in the Brexit uh, debate. You know, uh, it, it sponsored the Leave campaign in order to fracture relations between Britain and, and the European and Union, the UK and, the, and the European Union, in order to um, weaken it, uh, and it succeeded in doing that. And as a result of that, I, mean, I did actually predict in the book, writing in 2017, that Russia would probably extend its interest from the Crimea into Ukraine, which of course is what's happened. That's where we are at the moment. Okay, so I'm sorry. <laughs> this is actually a very short program because of the time, but I, I just have two more questions. The first question now is, what do you expect from King Charles? King Charles? Yeah. Well, I think, be, I think personally, he'll be a, a good monarch, I think. He's, uh, <laughs> his interests lie... Um, yeah, he's slightly political, but of course, in the British uh, uh, system, he's not really allowed to ent enter any, in any way into politics. But what he does do... Uh, he puts a lot of effort and a lot of input into environmental issues, which I don't think will be curbed. And I think in, as a monarch, 
he will have a, a, a reasonable amount of influence in that. And hopefully uh, he'll be allowed to ex express his views and perhaps uh, perhaps influence government in a way, you know, which would be positive as far as the environment is concerned. Okay, but so, politically, okay, sir, you won't I, I want to come back to a question, my last yeah. question, about China. You, you were saying China has something to do about the uh, Ukraine war. You, you said China has a specific role to play because you said China is a powerhouse. So how do you think China is going to... Uh, accelerate a ceasefire between Ukraine and Russia? Well, it, it, I'll have to just be a little bit broader than that. Uh, in the first place, this conflict is nowhere near coming to a conclusion by the normal normal avenues. The normal avenues for a conclusion of a, of a war like this is that both protagonists actually realise that it's not winnable. And this war is no way winnable. In the first place, uh, it, this war will be kept going by NATO supplying Ukra Ukraine with uh, the weaponry to keep Russia at bay. So that it cannot be, peace cannot be achieved in that way. The only other ways it could be achieved is that Putin himself is deposed. Now, there are several things that could influence that. One is that he's alienated his generals, so there could be an army, a military coup, uh, is uh, alienated, alienated them by sacking several of his uh, generals and for incompetence. He's alienated them by supporting the Wagner group as opposed to them, as opposed to the army. And he's alienated the Wagner group because he's not giving them as much weaponry as they wanted. So his, his position as a premier now is very precarious. But well, all right, so, well, Mr. Well, Allen, Mr. Allen, I'm so sorry. I'm going to yeah. have to get you back on the program because we're pressed for time. I'm so sorry about that. But I just yeah, want well, to, we're going to, I'm going to get you back on the program for us to talk about this in depthly because you know you have your coronation. I want to say congratulations to King Charles uh, in the UK. I hope you guys have a merry festival. I hope the coronation goes on well. And uh, so please, I'm going to pick it up from there. So thank you for coming okay. on the program. Yeah, sir. that's fine. Yeah, yeah. All right, sir. Bye now. Okay. Uh, my lovely audience all across the world, I hope you have enjoyed listening to your poetic Into the Dawn, the Weekend show. I'm sorry. Be because of the coronation, we're pressed for time. I just want to say, hope you have enjoyed watching it. Don't go anywhere and stay tuned because we have more coming up for you on the Weekend show.